peace to everyone hello welcome to another video of mine i'm just here chilling in my car and uh i wanted to talk about um feelings and how feelings uh they're literally your compass um what feels good to you or what's not feeling good to you is the heart is literally the mediary the heart is the the initiator of where to go what to do next and the mind listens to the heart so uh, when you feel something that you're feeling out of place or you're feeling, um, you know, like you don't want to do something anymore and you want to focus on something else, um, that is your intuition. That is your intuition. Um, whether you're stuck at a job, in a relationship, you know, it's listening to the body is more important listening to your feelings your heart and what's inside of you things that you cannot physically see those are your other senses expanding your senses to feeling to receiving what you're you're receiving because it's all information we were taught that information is words it's something outside of you it's books it's all of this stuff right but the initial information that we receive to for example read a book right so if we're feeling like we're, we want to read this book it's your feelings giving you that that uh knowledge or impulse to read that book so that's already an information pillar coming to you to say, yes, read this book because this book is going to shift your perception about something. It's going to give you some insight of your purpose or whatever, of something that you need to know. You know what I mean? So it's like kind of like that. Um, it could be as well when uh, psychics, uh, you know, psychic people not all psychic people because we're all psychic we're all psychic and a lot of people don't realize that they're so intuitive and psychic that the reason why your life is going downhill is because you haven't been listening to your intuition you haven't been listening to your feelings and what you've been really wanting to do what you've been feeling to do for the longest but can continue to ignore it because of external factors. So we, we, are, we are listening to external factors, external environment, physicality, uh, and depending too much on the, in the physicality when the inner compass is nudging us, is telling us to listen, to trust, right? To trust, um, this can literally be in so many different scenarios I can literally just play out you know what I mean um, but the deep core of this of this knowing of this of this innate impulse this sense that we have it is it is our innate communication uh, because the words don't really matter. What you say don't really matter, right? How you look like don't really matter, you know? Uh, it's the, it's where we're coming from. It's where we're coming from. And if we're following this intuition that never lies, never lies, this is how uh, animals find their food, you know sense uh, a predator this is how they sense prey this is how we sense predators how we this is the intuition this is the 
the communicator communication of life and uh how we can connect with uh nature with animals and with our fellow humans our our fellow you know human beings this is how we can create communication much more clear we can uh figure out our life purpose and what we came here to do all through what we feel and it's truly tuning everything out even your thoughts okay if you have an imbalance it's it's mostly either you being too over emotional or to being over analytical and we need to find that sweet spot where we're listening to the heart we're getting in tune with what we how we feel right getting in tune with how we feel with our nervous system and as well as just balancing that that uh that mental aspect as well where the mind is responding to the heart right responding to the heart and uh so there's like little things in the day where your intuition when you don't plan anything in the day right and you're just flowing with what's what you're feeling like then the mind listens to that and boom you're you're creating something you're following the intuition to create something new within this present moment whether it's a creative idea an idea to just you know feel what you want to do feel don't think feel what you want to do right and if you pack your days with so much things to do it's like you kind of feel burnt out and you kind of feel stressed and in a way in a way, uh, you're kind of straying yourself more and more away from yourself and ignoring uh, what you truly, you know, really want to do. And what you really want to do is your purpose. As simple as that. As simple as that. So, right now, it's feeling like you know people get bored easily you know like there's so much time there's so much space there's so much things to distract yourself in this moment you know so much people finding excuses to focus on something to just either it's just getting distracted in conversations talking about people um and just maybe getting lost in, in sources of information that isn't serving you, you know what I mean? And I think it's so important to immerse yourself in silence right now. You know, taking a couple of, just an hour or two or whatever. Taking time throughout your day to feel your intuition um shoot like be in this practice all day you know and feeling your intuition and what you're feeling like you want to do like right now right i'm in the parking lot of a gym and you know i'm i'm going to work out here in a few um cuz that's really what i want to do i really want to move my body today but i'm just chilling you know like i just wanted to just sit here for a little bit not rush you know because i have so much you know i don't really go by rushing i don't really have to rush anything i choose what to do and uh you know that free will comes in and and you know we're really free to choose uh you know and it's truly just going by your own intuition of how you're feeling right now and right now I want to share about this you know I want to share about intuition because I think intuition can lead us to um, 
um, our desires, our innate desires, our uh, our purpose, like I said, and uh, communicating with with uh, people more effectively, you know, and just living through the heart can allow you to tune out everything that is distracting you from your own reality that you are creating right now, right? And being the boss, being the boss, listening to your heart, like, this is like, in school, we were not taught to listen to our heart. And the heart is literally the source of life. I'm going to end it on that. So, listen to your heart. Follow your intuition. You know what to do. Peace.